Well, hello there. My name is Larry Rosen from the Ajax Public Library. Welcome to another edition of the Virtual Idea Lab. Glad you're here today. We are going to talk about anemometers. I was going to say thermometers, but that's coming up in another session. This is anemometers. Do you know what those are? Do you know what they do? We're going to find out today. So thanks again for joining me. And I'm just going to share the screen now and we're just going to talk a little bit about what they are. And then we'll actually do the activity. And so I'm just going to share the presentation. And there we go. Okay. So for this particular activity, um, the things that you're going to need um, are straws, paper cups, uh, you're going to need a hole punch, um, some pins, push pins, a pencil, and uh, some markers. There we go. Um, and, and a fan, if you have a fan, that would help. Okay. And so have you ever wanted to fly a kite, but you're not sure how fast the wind is blowing? Uh, do you think there might be a way that you can measure the wind um, to decide if you want to fly the kite? It might be too windy. Um, do you think it's important to be able to predict what the weather will be like today or tomorrow or next week? If you can predict what it's going to be like, then you, you can prepare for upcoming events. Um, do we have to wear a raincoat? Is a storm approaching? So measuring the wind or other things, it just helps you prepare um, for upcoming events. And that's a good thing. Do you know what people uh, who study the weather are called? They are meteorologists. And these people use instruments that measure the aspects of the temperature, uh, rainfall, the cloudiness, and the wind. And, th and then what they do is they find patterns uh, with the weather that helps them predict what the weather might be like in the future. So if a thermometer measures how hot or cold it is, what do you think would measure how fast or slow the wind is blowing? Well, that is of course called an uh, anemometer. And uh, there we go, just get, <laughs> Ooh, went too far. There we go. They use a, a piece of equipment known as an anemometer. Uh, the particular anemometer that we're going to make has cups. And these cups will catch the wind and cause it to rotate. The speed of the rotation is used to figure out how fast the wind is blowing. Can you think of who might uh, want to use an anemometer? Airports, absolutely. Who else? People who take care of the wind farms, they would want to know uh, where on the earth might be a good place for consistent high winds. Um, you know what wind farms are, right? They convert the wind into electricity. And anybody else uh, that might use anemometers? Meteorologists, absolutely, they want to know what the weather is going to be like, and that includes the wind. Okay, a clip, uh, couple of quick notes before we start. I'm going to be doing this at a certain pace, but you don't have to do it at that pace. Uh, we've got a, a PDF on our website that you can follow the instructions and do this at your own pace. Okay, so here we go. I'm just going to, here again is the, the supplies that I'm going to be using for this particular event. All right. I am going to stop sharing. There we go. Okay. So let's get started. I have my recipe book, which has the directions on how to do this. And um, Let's get started. So you take your paper cup. I have a small paper cup, but 
It can be one of those bigger paper cups. It doesn't matter. This is what I happen to have. We try to use things that are um, around your house. And the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to take the paper punch and we're going to punch four holes in the paper cup near the top and opposite each other. So this will be the first one. And then opposite, opposite the first one, I'm going to do another one. So there's the, there's the first one and here's the second one. So I've got two here and now I'm going to do two here on the opposite ends. So that, oh, let's try that again. There we go. So there's just four different holes. And what we're going to do is we're going to take two straws. going to put the first straw right through to the other side so that it comes out. You might have to help it a little bit. Then we're going to do the same thing with the other straw, either over or underneath the one that's already there. And again, there's no rush, no rush on this. Uh, this is a fun activity. There's no um, competition. You're just doing it at your own pace. That's what we got so far. Let's go back to our recipe book and see what is next. Ah, yes. We're going to punch a hole in the bottom of the cup. And um, not, you might be able to do it with a pencil or you might need something else to get to punch the hole in the bottom of the cup. So that it looks like that. Okay, so the next thing we have to do, if you look at the finished one, is we have to get these cups to um, kind of almost float on air. We have to get these, these, these cups set up. So in order to do that, we have to take uh, four cups. One, two, three, and four. And then with each of these cups, we take our hole punch and we're going to put two holes in them not too far from each other I'm going to show you here's the first one and it's not the this hole is not going to be right here it's going to be kind of a little bit there as far as the hole punch will go and you just go one and then the and the second one is going to, there's the first one, and the second one's just going to be a little bit over. Right about there, so it kind of looks like that. And you're going to do this for each of the four cups. So there's cup one. Here is cup two. There's cup two with the two holes. Let's do two more. probably saying, why is he putting more holes in these cups? Well, you're going to see in a second. All right. These cups need to spin around. We've got the base done, but we need these cups to spin around. So why did we do those holes? Well, is what we're going to do. We're going to 
take one of the ends of the straws here and just put it inside and then so that it comes right through the top. And let me just get it in there and then I'll show you what I mean. You're putting it down and then up in the, uh, down the first hole and up into the second opening. And it might take a little, it might take a little bit of effort to get the straw in and out of the two holes. And once it's done, I'm gonna show you. Almost got it. There we go. Okay, so do you see what I did here? There's two holes in the cup. I put the straw first in one hole down and then back up through the other hole. Okay, we have to do this with all the other cups. So there's one for this one. So I'm gonna do this one now. And you, uh, one thing I wanted to mention is these cups will all be, they need to face the same way or it won't work. Uh, so you can't have a, if this cup is facing this way, then you, you have to have it facing this way. You can't have it facing the, uh, the opposite way or it won't work. Okay, so here's the second one. And again, it goes down into one of the holes and then up into the other hole like that. So this is what you've got so far. And I'm turning it around so that we've got two out of the four done so far. Let's do two more. Here's the third cup with the holes. Here's the third straw. We've got two holes, so I'm gonna put the straw in one of the holes. And now is that going in the right? Oh, look at that. I had it, I have it going in the wrong opposite direction. So that's not going to work. So I'm going to take it out right now and turn it around. All right. So now this will work. Put it down into the straw and then back up through the other opening like this. So this is, this is what I have so far. And you can see how this, each of the cups are attached through those two holes in each of the cups. We got one left that doesn't have a cup. So let's put that on. Is it going in the right direction with the others? Yes, it is. So down and then back up through the other hole. Here we go. Ooh. Maybe I'm going too fast. There's no race. Take your time. Sometimes it doesn't always work the first time. It's all right, you just try it again. Making sense so far? We're not done yet. There's still a few final things we need to do. And I am checking my instructions here. Oh uh, yes, here we go. So the next thing that we have to do is uh, attach the pencil. This is the pencil that um, also has an eraser. Okay, so what you do is you, remember that hole in the bottom of the middle cup? Well, this is gonna go through that hole. It might take a little bit of, of trying to get it to go through, depending on the size of your hole punch.
Oh my, I had a, looks like I had a smaller hole punch than, uh, so it, and these cups, these cups are small, but they're strong. So it depends on the type of cups that you get as well. <laughs> oh, there we go. Oh, I hope I didn't, no, I did not uh, break the cup. Oh, good. It's hard to see the pencil in there. The pencil is inside almost to the top. And um, the final thing that we have to do is we have to take a uh, push pin. One of these push pins. And that's gonna go through the top of the straws right into the eraser of the pencil. But the thing that to remember here when you're putting this pin in is not to push it in too far because if there's too much friction, it will not uh, turn properly. So, and be very careful with when you're using these pins that it's gonna go right through both straws and into the eraser that's in the cup. So there we go, through one straw one, straw two, and the final thing we have to do is take a marker and just um, put a mark on one of the cups that lets you know that it is the master cup. And what that means is every time it goes around once, you'll see that one of the cups is marked and that will mean it went around one time. Okay. All right, keep uh, hiding myself. Here we go. All right. And um, the final thing that you need to do if you have a fan is to, and hopefully it has different speeds, a slow, a fast, and a medium. I don't have a fan, unfortunately, uh, but if you did, you would turn it on and watch, um, watch it measure the wind. Depending on where you marked your master cup, you can, um, you can also take it outside on a windy day as well and measure the wind. And uh, that, in a nutshell, is how you create an anemometer. Uh, if you want to give this a try, please do. Video record it if you like and send it to our social media at Ajax Public Library. We would love to see uh, you do this. Um, and thank you again for joining me here today. We'll have another activity next week. And um, I hope you have a great rest of the week and stay safe.